Hello everyone, in today's guide we're going to be finding those hidden ascendant chests that require a tincture of queen's foil in order to obtain. Note that this set of chests is for when the curse on the dreaming city is at its weakest and that new chests may be appearing when the dreaming city changes from week to week or every other week or whatever it is. So what's the point of getting all of these chests? Well, they will get you the Hidden Riches Triumph for you completionists out there, although I'm not sure if that is linked to the title that you can get for the Dreaming City Meta Triumph. It is unknown if these chests will do anything else in the future. If you do not care about the Triumph, then as of the making of this video, there doesn't seem to be much of a point to them, but check the description for any updates. We'll start at the drop point for the Dreaming City. Turn around and you're going to head into the Lost Sector. Clear out a bunch of the enemies first so that they don't annoy you. Then head to the second rock with a tree on it. It'll be smaller than the first one. Facing the tree, the first platform will be on your right. Scale up for your first chest. These chests give soft cap level items along with some materials and glimmer. Chest number two is at the entrance to the blind well. Go towards the blind well, and at the start of the red carpet, you should see the first platform on your left. This one has a good amount of platforming required. Chest number three is in the Spine of Carries. The Spine is where you go to turn in your Oracle Offering. If you need help getting there, the Kill a Target Patrol that usually spawns next to the landing zone can guide you. Anyway, you're going to be walking for a while here down the path, just follow the video, but when you finally get to the outside bridge after a long bit of walking, look over the left side cliff edge. Platforms will start to spawn, and you can follow them for the chest. Chest number four is in the Garden of Asilla. Go south when in the Strand to get to the Garden. Once you're in the Garden, you're going to want to get onto the main floating bridge in the area, and in the middle of the bridge will be the platforms. Chest number five is right next to Petra. Just stand right next to her, facing towards where the public event spawns in, and get to platforming. Chest number six is in Aphelion's Rest, which is the Lost Sector underneath Petra. No platforming is required for this one. You just need to go all the way through to the end of the Lost Sector, and before you drop down to go back outside, hug the right wall and the chest will pop up. 
Chest number seven is in the Chamber of Starlight Lost Sector in Rhea Sylvia. Note that this is a 560 power Lost Sector. Anyway, when you reach the big open room with the boss and the tons and tons of ads, stick to the right and go into the doorway where there will be a balcony. This is only a two platform chest, pretty easy. Just don't get sniped by the hobgoblins. Chest number eight is in Rhea Sylvia. Out on the right side of the zone, you should see a tall pillar with a statue on it. You need to get there via the smaller pillars, so get to platforming. When you finally get to where the statue is, face the Harbinger's Seclude Temple and start jumping. Chest number nine is in an area called the Confluence. The Confluence is essentially a connector linking the three non-specified zones, the Spine, the Garden, and the Seclude, all together. The fastest portal to the Confluence is in the Spine. Head back to the Spine of Carries, and instead of going into the Temple, hook a left when you first enter the area where the enemies spawn. Immediately go right before the bridge, heading down a path that takes you into a cave. Enter the portal, and go to the main hub. Just keep running, you'll know when you get there. The first platform will be to the left of the giant gateway with the white ring. Finally, chest number 10 is in the Harbinger's Seclude. From the chest that you just got in the confluence, look for the path with the giant statue. This is the portal to the seclude. Once you're in, run forward until you find some Taken. If you went outside, that's the wrong way. When you see the Taken, go to the left and ride the elevator up. When you're at the top, head towards the giant statue in this room. Once you get to the statue, turn around and walk forward a little bit. The platform will be on your left. Do not get baited here. When you're at the fourth platform, go left, not right. Those are all of the Ascendant chest locations for when the curse on the city is at its weakest. I will make a new video for the next set of chests when they become available. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.